Hi guys! Welcome back to Darwish Zone channel and this is a great return ba 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 guess what ba ba guess what ba 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 a very giant leap. You see there's a new total new theme, the full theme. There's the uh, full functioning uh, scraper that works very well out of the box and is uh, capable of um, connect to let's see together. Okay. He can connect to the screen scraper or the, the games DB, and uh, he allow you to a lot of uh, options available. You can select the type of mix art you want. If you want uh, just a box or the mix art, if you want the the wheel, the marquee, if you want to scrape the videos, or if you want the image only. So you have plenty of options to use, and uh, best of all, the scraper works. Uh, in on background so you can still keep to explore the front end and the scraper will work on background so fantastic you see I even added the artwork that I already have from my set but for example show that ones are gener generated by the Batosera. You see the, the, the mix art is very good. This is a effect like a 3D effect of the screen and there's also the snap feeders. Look at the transition. It's so cool. Genesis. This is just a um, test set I added just to show you what this new release can do but you can add the games the roms you want assume that you own these games because you have to delete them remember you can only add and play roms that you legit own so this is the the, the, the nintendo no, no, don't, don't mind the artwork because PC Engine, just some testing uh, ROMs I've added. PlayStation, ScanVM, I'm not uh, able to run ScanVM and to be honest, but maybe it's my, my personal problem, not by image itself. Unfortunately, the Dreamcast cannot run the Gunlord. Oh, I lost it. It cannot run the Gunlord game even if you can scrape about the game it doesn't work because um, the, the, the version of the emulator is not compatible with the game and you cannot, unfortunately you cannot add or update the emulator into Battlesphere because uh, this is a very user-friendly out-of-the-box solution so you have just to wait another release when they will update the Dreamcast emulator. You cannot do it by yourself. But there's no problem because you see there's a super super support by the, the team on update and downloads. You can update your release, you can download the new themes. You see there's a lot of them. You can download the Bezel project overlays so plenty of options there's new background music player that um, display the, the track names on up of the screen so only this uh, um, release only Batocera and Recalbox are uh, able to show you the track names the RetroPie cannot do that um, on the full you can add this feature but it's not easy at all to add this Battlestar and Record Box have by default, so you can also uh, 
uh, assign music to a specific team or you can assign music to uh, specific system I've already showed this that, that feature let's okay so you have a sort of dynamic background music player which is very very useful and very effective for example I want to show should be pop up you see on the upper side of the screen it actually show the track name so assume that you have uh, added the correct bios because uh, the bios are copyrighted so um, they cannot uh, include the bios uh, by default on the distro but if you can set the, the BIOS properly, you can play, for example, the Neo Geo CD games on CHD file, file type extension. The Neo Geo CD game uh, takes a lot of time to load because... So it's great to see by default there's an emulator with, with a CHD support which is not... Um, Previous version of emulator have not the, the support for the CHD files uh, there's now. So fantastic, great games, New Geo CD. You see, by default, the Batocera um, apply this uh, overlay with CRT effect type, very, very retro. But the blacks are more um, dark grey than blacks, so some of you may not, whoa, may not appreciate this effect. But there's no problem because you can also assign your bezel. Bathosera is famous for this incredible system of um, bezel, called the decoration. You can set the decoration by the full from the system or your own decoration for example you see DZ this is my uh, personal basil you have to add your basil on the on the image for example let's see Dino Crisis You see, this is my bezel, it's loaded automatic. And you also see by default the, the Bathosera add some um, bilinear, bilinear function on games, the smooth effect they call like that, and you can disable that one too also you have the shader set the new shader curvature or their scan lines or retro and inset a lot of choices you don't do so you don't have to waste time on shaders on retro arc because the system apply for you smooth games this is the option you can choose and you can also select the ratio you can run the, the games on widescreen radio, for example, if you can set it to 69. Fantastic. And uh, ScanVM, Super Nintendo, this is a just a test system I had to show what the image can do. Amiga, Commodore 64. And Commodore 64, for example, has a new Core Libretto Core 3.3 Libretto, which can, this is my bezel, which can uh, uh, save, uh, support the save states. This is a very, very, very important function. Let's see, I go back a little, sorry, let's see the, the basal, the full basal for Commodo because it's very, very good. So let's back to the game. You see the Commodore 64 bezel is great 
you know I love Commodore 64 and you love to Okay, so when he load the game, I showed the new keyboard, look so beautiful, what works they made with the new version of Libretro and the, the visual keyboard works properly now. Some button, virtual button doesn't work so good before. Now everything works as, as it should. So it's fantastic. So you recognize that is Miss Impossible. But now you have the save states that which you on Commodore 64 games are a, a game saver, live game saver look. I show you. If you strike, select and uh, A button, you enter the retro arc menu, you know that. But you have that options now, save states, okay? So I have made a save, which I can recall with load state. You see? So the emulator managed that, not the game, and most of Commodore 64 game doesn't allow you to save. That means you can maybe finish finally some ultra hard Commodore 64 games, most of them. Ah! It's so great, it's so great. So, um, this is the new Batocera 5.24 and it's great. The pros are all these new features, the, 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 the emulator are improved. The new theme is fantastic, and you also uh, add the theme you want. It's compatible with all the emulation station theme, for example. So it's great. It's um, more refined every releases. Is uh, more refined than ever, and the the, the counts of the um, this version are the same, uh, more or less. It still lack the. Um, Daphne emulator because uh, I've, I've spoken with them about this uh, um, topic and they don't doesn't love uh, so much the laser game and Daphne so it is very by um, is intentional they uh, does include uh, for now the Daphne emulator and uh, it also it lacks the open bore Open board, maybe they they think the open board is too complicated for the, the users they they end because this is a, a release very dedicated to to user that doesn't want to to waste time and knowledge to set properly an image or resolve issues and problem because that that distro just made all for you out of the box so they keep with that path path they keep with a, a release that um, is user friendly and very very console friendly little less um, computer and experimental uh, experimental emulator like more on a console side and very very user friendly so I have to say I'm very very impressed by this uh, release, the, the music, listen there's uh, some uh, new music uh, they made for this release. I love the fact that they want to, to have uh, their identity compared to Recall Box because Batocera is uh, born like a fork of uh, Recall Box was born. Now is a very project on its own, and I, I love uh, they they just uh, go for very specific uh, their identity. So it's still a, a front end, then is uh, user friendly. So fantastic for guys, people just want to strike, burn this. Uh, 
is the front end on uh, CD card. On, this is the PI 3B version of Batosera, but don't forget, uh, Batosera is available for many platforms, included on Droid, PC. Uh, it's a very a wide, uh, wide choice of platform supported by this front end. This is uh, the PI 3B version, but you can install this on the, the system of choice and you just add ROMs without have to worry about any anything um, can can make some hassle problem is because they already made it for you so the most easy to use the most user friendly front end on market bravi 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 so Thank you guys, thank to Battle guys, thank to for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We we'll catch up on the next one. Bye bye.